One of the things Yoast SEO does for you automatically is creating canonical links for your pages. Now, we're not going to go into the technical details because you don't need to know that to use the plugin, but it's good to know something about Canonical. In addition, we can do everything for you, so you need to be aware of that as well. So, let's dive into it. Let's first explore what goal Canonical links serve. Now, Canonicals are quite difficult, so bear with me. Imagine you have five separate pages that are either identical to each other or closely resemble each other, which are twins or brothers and sisters, so to speak or you have one page with several URLs linking to it. This seems strange, but it's actually not that rare, as we'll see later in this video. Anyway, in these cases, you have an SEO problem. Google won't know which of these pages is most important, and Google will get confused because it wants to rank either the best results or the best URL, but there is no way to distinguish between the results. In SEO terms, this is called the duplicate content problem and Canonical solves the duplicate content problem. The Canonical link tells Google which version of the page is the version it should include in the search results. This is really important because you don't want your own content to compete with itself and confuse Google. Therefore, it's best to tell Google which page you prefer. And we call this most important URL the Canonical. It gets even better. By identifying the Canonical version, you pass on link value from all its twins brothers and sisters, to that canonical version. There are a couple of situations in which canonicals are useful. The first one is when the same page has different URLs depending on how you got there. Just to be clear, there is one permalink for your page, the canonical, and the other URLs are generated automatically depending on the page you access the page from. This happens, for example, when you have campaign tags, like in this example. When you set up tracking on a campaign, your URL reflects where your user is coming from. If the user is coming from Facebook, for example, you will have a big UTM tag, which makes this clear. But Google won't know which one to index. So you should always have the canonical on those pages in these situations, pointing to the clear URL, so in this case, yoast.com slash shop. And it goes even further. You should add a canonical to every page you want Google to put into the search results, even if it doesn't have any brothers or sisters and Google has confirmed that this is the best way to do it. This is really meant as a defense mechanism. Even if you do something wrong, at least the clean URL will always have a canonical link, and Google will know that you value it and that you want to index it. Yoast SEO automatically takes care of this, and it does this everywhere, for posts, for pages, for any taxonomies, and for archives. Now, there are a couple of instances in which you have to create your own canonicals. Yoast SEO cannot take care of this, so you will have to get up to speed on the technical workings of Canonical yourself. Imagine this situation. You have an online shop, and in this shop you have products which are identical but for one small detail. H&M is selling a sweater, for example, which is available in black, white, blue, ochre, green and grey. And each of these pages has its own URL. In this case, you should, you should pick one canonical page which you want to rank with, and all the link value of the other URLs will be passed on to that page, and you should make sure that you can switch the colors on the canonical page, as H&M has successfully done here. Incidentally, H&M has canonicalized all URLs separately, so there's some SEO work still to be done there, but anyway. Whether you have to implement canonicals depends on how your shop is structured. If all variations are on one URL, which is possible, you don't have to do anything. If, however, your product variations are on separate URLs, you can use the Yoast SEO meta box to manually canonicalize your product. It's not difficult at all. You simply go to the advanced tab of the Yoast SEO meta box and paste the canonical link here. You also have to create your own canonicals when you want to use cross-domain canonicals, which means canonicals going to another site. Let's consider a real-life example. Michiel has written a blog post on Yoast.com. Now, another site, Search Engine Journal, thinks this would be very interesting content for their readers, and they decide to ask our permission to repost this article on their sites, and we grant it. However, now you have the same article on two separate places on the web. Of course, we have written the article, so our link should rank higher in the search engines. Now, what Search Engine Journal should do is add a canonical link from their article to our article, 
to make sure that the credit for the article goes to the original source. So, if you want to post an article from another site, ask them for permission and add a manual canonical in the Advanced tab of the Yoast SEO Meta box. In this case, you just paste the link of the original article. If you want to know more about the technical aspects of Canonical, we have a technical SEO course in which we go into the details so you can actually implement and adjust Canonicals yourself. If you already know a lot about Canonical, you can use the WP SEO underscore Canonical filter to tailor Canonical to your personal preference. Good luck!